Yo, what's up, guys? Chris here. And King Beef. And our first episode of Bro Vice. And hoes that can be bros, too. All right, you, you have the first topic today. All right. My topic came from our friend. Our friend? It, yeah, it's our friend, my buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's, do guys prefer uh, thick girls, skinny girls, or tone girls? I'm going to let Chris go first. <laughs> All right, I prefer thinner girls. Everybody has their own preference. Well, my fuck, you like I've told you several times now since we keep fucking this commentary. <laughs> <laughs> it's, people say it's a handful. A handful is all you need for breasts. Well, my hands are fucking huge, so the girls gotta have like F cups for my hands, and I don't like thick girls, so I'm gonna stick with thinner girls. Yeah, that's cause you you live around thick thick girls. Your UAV. Fuck yeah, <laughs> sucks. <laughs> But I prefer thick girls. It's only because, you know, in my culture, thick girls are more desirable than, like, a skinny girl. I don't really like skinny girls. They always got, like, some creepy-ass attitude towards bigger guys and stuff. Bullshit. Over here, they do. Is Well, you have, only- like... During the winter, it's okay for like a big guy to be with a skinny girl, but once the summer comes, that girl is gone. <laughs> I like seen girls, so that's why I like smaller girls. Yeah, all half damn now, all seen girls are skinny. Yeah, like tone girls are like 50 50 for, for me. For both of us, yeah. I like a girl, I like ass more than I like breasts, so that's why. It's like that. Yeah. Friendly I have like, like a leg deployed. fetish. I don't know why. I just do. Like a girl that works out and she got like some nice in shaped legs. Like I go weak at the knees and shit. Supple legs, supple ass. Yeah. Where like you just be sitting down, you just grab her leg for no reason. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's considered assault. No. No, she has to be your girl. <laughs> that's you didn't clarify that shit. <laughs> No, I'm not a, well, I'm not a pervert or anything. Oh, <laughs> like, shit. Just go around sitting next to girls and holding their legs. <laughs> just on the floor. <laughs> they look at, Hello, they look at me and I got like this crazy ass look on my face. Like, if you say anything, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that answers it for your friend. <laughs> yeah. Damn. We have another topic. Which is pretty much what we came up with from the little joke we came up with about that topic is fucking backstabber. <laughs> I can friend you behind your back about other stuff, and I don't know. <laughs> I can't really say it. <laughs> but it's basically backstabbers. <laughs> Have you dealt with backstabbers before? I, I had a few. It wasn't. It wasn't really that serious because I don't really let too many people too close yeah. to know like so much about me to like take it like make it such a big deal. But I have had that happen before. Uh, dealt with a couple. <clears throat> and I just fucking quit caring about everything. Once you do that, it's easier. Like, uh, you just told this person that. I did this and I trusted you. Now we're done. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> You're done! <laughs> uh, and, <clears throat> and that was just the goof off part, I guess. Um, yeah, we this just is the time. <laughs> this is the serious one. Um, deep depression, self loathing, and bullying in school, and then. I guess abusive parents mentally and verbally, well physically too. Hostiles have destroyed your UAV. Yeah. Um. We'll just cover the depression, or let's start with the self-loathing first. Um, self-loathing for you, those of you that don't know what it is, it's basically you resent certain parts of yourself or yourself completely. Um, it can be like an example of just certain parts. You could hate that 
your figure. That's kind of self-loathing. You don't like that you're a bigger person, or you resent that you're skinny by nature. Ah. I don't like the fact that I'm, I'm like a bigger person, but I don't like hate myself to the point where I would like try to like kill myself over it or something like that. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't know somebody that would kill themselves over that, but self-loathing can lead to suicide attempts. Yeah. Um, I don't haven't personally dealt with or. I have never dealt with self-loathing, and I don't think Quentin has either, but uh, a way to get over it is to talk to somebody about what you don't like about yourself, and they can walk you through helping cheer you up and point out that there's nothing wrong with you. Everybody's different, and that what, that's what makes you special. It's not something to hate. Yeah, the people that you talk to is like... But parents and that one best friend that you can tell anything. Yeah. Friendly UAV and I kind of want to leave the depression, the deep depression, for a last. So the bullying and abusive parents. Um, that just fucked up. Yeah. Abusive so the parents is something I've never experienced. Well, if you say like abusive parents, as in. You've been acting out and you get a whooping. That's not yeah, that's about it. That's, that's, not <laughs> that's a punishment. <laughs> yeah. But like, um, we'll go over the bullying. The bullying, it's easier just to ignore them. They're obviously jealous of something that you have, be it you have somebody that you care about and that cares about you, or, um, I don't know. I guess we'll use uh, being gay for an example. Like, people in the United States, especially, they don't accept homosexuality at all, so they'll say like certain things about them and try and force people. People are afraid to come out of the closet over it, and it's yeah. fucking stupid. Like, who cares what somebody thinks about you? As long as you have somebody that cares about you, that's all you need. Yeah, like when I was younger, I had I had a gay cousin, and for like some reason, I could not talk to this guy at all. Like, every time he came to our house, I would just go upstairs and mind my own business. But, like, he was, like, really open about it, and he really didn't care what anybody think. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. But, like, his dad, which was, like, my uncle, he hated the fuck out of it. And he actually, like, beat him up once. Over him being gay? It was, like, that, and, like, he used he used to, like, mouth off all the time, so... Oh. So, like, I guess there's, like, a lot of tension building up, and yeah, that happened. Mm, that's but overall, like, when I actually talked to him, he was actually cool. Like, he wasn't, he wasn't really being bullied or anything about being gay or nothing like that. Yeah. You can't ignore somebody over something like that. That's stupid. Like, if you ignore somebody because you don't like something about them, there are going to be so many people, good people, that you'll never get to know. Yeah. That's true, sir. That is very true. <laughs> um, I guess the abusive parents is next. Um, yeah, that is something that is like a very shock. Yeah. You shouldn't hit your kids out of if, if you're gonna hit them, it's acceptable to hit them as like you're trying to teach them something. It's like not yeah. fucking closed fist, punch them in the face. <laughs> like a not smack, UFC style. Yeah, a <laughs> smack on like the hand or like on the butt, like, telling them not to do something is okay. But not like fucking going Casey Anthony on them. <laughs> that is so fucked up. <laughs> well, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody will want to do that again. They go case Casey Anthony. On. That's so fucked. But there's so many parents that actually do that. It's it's really fucked up. <laughs> like if your parents are being abusive, there's hotlines out there. I don't know the numbers, but you can. Yeah, it's, it's called 911. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Or was it uh, Child Protective Service? I yeah, don't know okay. the number for that at all. But you shouldn't tolerate your parents abusing you. That's fucking disgusting that they would do that. Yeah. That just... 
I don't I really can't say anything about that though. My phone's ringing, my boss is calling me, I'm not gonna answer. Um, <laughs> um the deep depression. Yeah, um, I think everybody been through like some kind of depression. Yeah, it's a few times in your life. Everybody goes through it, it's just, um, you have to find a way to get out of it. Like, talk to somebody that makes you happy, do activities that make you happy, like, um, creative or constructive things, creative and constructive things, will help give you something to focus on instead of what's making you depressed. Yeah. Like, what most, most guys, like for us, that get over depression is sometimes, like, playing a game or something. That's why we do, like, Call of Duty videos. Yeah. To, like, make ourselves feel a little bit better about, uh, like, something bad going on in real life. So you just want to escape. So you play a game, or, a game or two, and you rape like some random kids. And, whoa, uh, whoa, whoa! We don't condone that here, sir. <laughs> I'm talking about playing games. Okay. My my escape. I'm not really depressed. I've never really been depressed. But um, <clears throat> my escape from reality is music. I'll just listen to music all the fucking time. I just sit and I sit and play games, or I just sit and chill out with family. That's all I do. Well, I don't consider anybody family, so that's out of the question. <laughs> uh, I guess that wraps it up. Unless you... Harsh. <laughs> How is that harsh? Um, I guess I we'll wrap it up unless there's something else you wanna... Nah. Cover. That's all the topics I got for today. Okay, sir. Say goodbye. Alright, peace everybody. Later, guys. Friendly RCXD deployed. Securing A. Enemy spy plane above. We're being dominated. Take those positions. Hostiles jamming our radar. Securing Bravo. Securing Charlie. Friendly spy plane inbound. <laughs>